Hi, this is the first section of the installation video for this Rome Rove 3 M3 streaming um, wire cam. I've done a little bit of prep work. I've went ahead and attached the mirror, um, the camera system to my existing mirror. Um, you can see that it, it attaches with these rubber bungees. I have went ahead and attached the extra pieces of foam to fill in the gap so it would fit more snug. Um, this uh, camera here slides in and out so you can accommodate a larger mirrors, which, which is what I have. And uh, you can see that this is the first step. Now what I'm going to do here um, is I'm going to very carefully uh, run the wires up underneath this head uh, uh, headliner here with the tool that's provided. Uh, I'm going to go follow it along here, both uh, cables together. Uh, the GPS wire, I'm going to uh, attach the GPS uh, sensor here and put tuck all of the uh, ex other existing wires, the extra wire up here, and the GPS uh, module will come down and attach right into there. So the GPS uh, wire will go up here and then I'm going to bring it over here and attach it here and then tuck all the extra liner in here uh, extra wire here the power and the uh, rear camera cable is going to attach here and I'm going to give it enough play and enough extra here that it will go up uh, right here uh, and I'll put a clip over here um, and it'll go up in here under this headliner down and around here this trim just literally pulls off, so it's pretty much the same in any vehicle. So I'm going to pull that off, and I'm going to run the uh, cable down here. I'm going to split the power uh, across right here to this point, and the rear camera is going to go under here, and I'll show you this too. This literally just comes off of here. It unsnaps, and it just clips in. Um, and then I'm going to run the rear camera cable here along the bottom. Uh, through the back and uh, through the back seat which I have over there and attached to the rear camera so uh, I'll check back in with you in just a second okay um, this is the second part I'll show you what I've done here I went ahead and ran the power um, I used a clip my uh, mirror has already got a power and this clip uh, helps hold the cable in place for the existing mirror here so I use that to hold the wires down I've got the wires coming up here, uh, and you'll see here that the GPS is plugged in, and I've got these extra wires. I've got to tuck this under the headliner. Super easy. You just lift it up with the tool, and this slides right underneath the headliner. So you can tuck all of these wires in place, and you just tuck everything in there like that. And uh, there, it's all in place now, as you can see. Um, this is where the GPS plugs in. Here's your micro SD card. You can put uh, up to, I think, 526 uh, uh, gigabytes. Uh, there's your rear camera where it streams in and plugs in uh, via this wire, and there's the power cable. These two wires, the power cable and the USB cable, are running underneath the headliner here, down, across here. Uh, the power is running down here uh, and across. I ran it down under here. You can do this as well. This literally just unclips. Um, and uh, you can see it just unclips and you can run the wire right under here. Um, or you can run it uh, right along the top. Uh, pull this trim, this uh, rubber uh, insulation pulls right off of almost every car. And then you can run the wire right inside here and then push this right back into place. So simple. Uh, then you get over to here, uh, be real careful not to uh, uh, get in front of this. Just barely tuck the wire under here if you have to do that that way. Go across um, and you'll see that, uh, uh, let me go around the back. Um, you can run it up around here, down, and then I'm going through right down here. And there you can see where the wire is right here. This seat pulls forward, and uh, you can see down there where the wire is, right there. It's going up under here, up, and you'll see I got a bunch of stuff in there now, but the wire is uh, tucked back under here. Oh, um, yeah, it goes up around here under this headliner here, and it goes right here. Here's the wire here. 
and then I've attached it to the existing wires here and uh, put it all in nice in place. This I've already uh, replaced back in. I've uh, ran the wire over and attached it to the brake light bulb, the rear, the re this rear view brake light bulb here. And there's the, uh, the rear view camera right here. And you can see right there, I covered up my license plate there, but you'll see there's my existing um, uh, camera there. And there is the uh, rear view camera. Now, what's great about this, um, is that you don't need to hook it up to the rear view wire uh, and reverse, but if you do, what's really, really awesome, and I'll show this to you right now, um, there's the front, um, there's the front view, I think. Let me shut the trunk, it is trunk, okay. All right, so there's the, uh, the front view there. There it is there, okay. So there it is there, and um, you can see when I put it in reverse, it instantly switches uh, to the back camera. Right now, the it's the back wall, and uh, it's showing uh, the red light reflecting off the back wall. I put it back in park, and it automatically switches back to the front drive. Anytime I want, I can just switch like this and go right back and forth between reverse and uh, um, the front camera. Once it, it, what's like, what I like about when you do switch it to reverse is that it automatically, right now, let me pull forward a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, let me pull forward a little bit. Okay, so here's the normal rear view camera look, uh, image. You can see my whole garage, right? It's kind of messy. So let me put it in park. Now watch what happens when I put it in reverse. The angle automatically switches downwards so you can see where your car is gonna be driving to and that you're not gonna run over anything. It automatically, digitally uh, aims itself downwards. That's what's really great. Um, and so you can see the difference here. That's the rear view camera normally. And when I flip it in reverse, the camera goes down automatically. Very, very cool. This, cam this uh, camera is awesome. Um, also, if once I have the front camera on, I can also digitally move the image up and down until I can see just what I want it to see. You can see the image moving up and down. Now, the recording is going to show the whole image. You're not going to see the smaller image. It's Right now, you're just panning uh, what you're able to see on this uh, display. Now, on your recording, it's going to show the whole image. Uh, so you will not have to worry about what is being displayed. Is that going to be on the recording? Yes, it is. It's going to have the whole recording. Right now, we're just seeing a small portion of the of the actual image because the image is actually from here, goes all the way up and way over to the side. And so you'll see it when you look at it on the SD card. Um, it has all kinds of settings here. This thing's awesome. You can uh, go to the settings here. Um, uh, the change the resolutions, the exposure, automatic, uh, uh, the ADS. So once that is on, you switch that to on, and you hit the back arrow here. Um, here we go. Let it uh, reboot, and then over here to the side, you'll see here that it says LDWS. So press that and you enter LDS calculation mode. Now what happens is as you're driving, it's going to line up the side of the road with this automatically. Right now there is no side of the road. So let me just take down the road and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, it'll do it automatically here. And as I'm going down the road, it will uh, see the lane and automatically start to calibrate itself. So it's very, very cool. Um, and uh, let me switch to the rear view mirror again. Um, there's the rear view mirror, mirror. And let me go ahead and aim that back downwards so I can see the road. But uh, again, this is a very, very awesome, very high tech camera, full image across the whole mirror. Uh, the mirror here in the front image is uh, pivotable. This slides out. Um, this is an awesome camera by Rove. M3. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Happy to help.